Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Blue Tango Unplugged, where I just kind of lay back and play some games that have been stacking up on me on Twitch, or uh, stream, and I do that live on Twitch, and I upload the videos later to our YouTube channel as well. Um, if you've been watching the live development show, you kind of know all of this information, but just in case you're tuning in for the first time, uh, my name's Eric, I'm a game developer living over in Japan, I love games, which is why I'm in development, and I like playing games, but don't get as much time as I'd like to to play games, so, you know, I do fall victim to the uh, the Steam sales as they come up, so my games do start stacking up on me, and I do need to kind of play through them, you know? So, yeah, whenever I do get a vacation and the family's kind of away doing their own thing, that's when I kind of uh, jump on and do a couple of episodes of Blue Tango Unplugged. Today, uh, I did have the voting form up on the website. People didn't really have a preference one way or the other, so... Uh, the games to choose from were uh, Risk of Rain, uh, Ring Runner, Shadow Warrior, and Endless Space was the other one. So those are the four games that I had up. So today, you know, I'm just going to go with my preference since people didn't have a, a particular preference. I'm going to go with uh, Ring Runner first because it looked kind of interesting, and then I'm going to go with Risk of Rain next. I'll probably put a little break in there to kind of split them out, but uh, more or less, if you're watching this live, I'll be playing those two back to back. I just have to remember to change it out on Twitch because if I don't, then everyone's going to come in expecting a Ring Runner, and I'm playing Risk of Rain, and they're not going to know what's going on. So uh, let me just get started here. I've absolutely no information about this game other than you know the video I saw on Steam, and I thought, all right, it's on sale, fine, looks cool. I think I picked it up during the uh, summer sale. I picked way too much up during the summer sale. But that's the fun of it. So I will get this started here. Let's see. Turn on Ring Runner. And let's see what happens. Shows the Xbox controller, but I don't have it plugged in. I'm going to go with the keyboard and mouse and hope that works. Let me just make sure that this is streaming fine. Yeah, it looks okay. Because I'm doing it full screen so that it uh, shows up properly at a 720p resolution. I'm just starting out, so I'm going to jump right into single player. Begin the campaign. All right, I'll jump up to runner. I don't want to go for a rookie. That's kind of embarrassing. Aim. I'd like to steer my ship with the keyboard. I would like to aim my ship with the mouse. Not entirely sure what this means since I haven't played the game yet. So let's see. I'm going to go with keyboard. I hope I can change that later if, if whatever happens makes no sense. I didn't even know there was storage involved. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, it's probably a good time to get off the ship. I literally have no idea what kind of game this is, so it's going to be very interesting when this starts. I hope they have a good tutorial. Now, at least I have amnesia, so hopefully they'll walk me through what I need to do. Okay! <laughs> looks absolutely nothing like I expected, but that's cool. It actually looks kind of sweet. Hold down W. Alright. So that's my thrust. Just to your left, D is to your right. Oh, that, that's gonna be kinda weird. I think I may switch the options. So 
I have to like turn my neck to see this properly if I'm going to be thinking of A and W is turning me left and right. All right, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's see if I can get used to it. Oh no, I am not going to get used to that at all. Okay, <laughs> switching off to the mouse. Uh, hopefully it's in here. Runner, uh, that's fine. Key buttons? Is that what I wanted? Told me I could come into options to switch all this stuff. What am I missing? Oh, okay, there's more down here. Yeah, I'm gonna switch that to... Gesture? Huh, I guess that's for Oculus or something. Alright, we'll see if this aiming mode makes a little more sense. Uh, no? <laughs> no, not really. Okay. Well. Steering the ship makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have gone for the controller on this one. Okay, got it. No, I don't got it. MP4? Do I even have a mouse button for? And put the mouse button forward. I'm not even sure if I do have a mouse button for. Let's try. That's not good. Uh, okay, I think I need to plug in a controller on this one because neither the keyboard controls nor the mouse make any sense to me. They probably make sense to other people, it's just me. So. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, I don't accidentally unplug the camera. Way too much stuff sticking to my YouTube uh, USB slots. I think I might have them in the back. Be right back. Not entirely sure why. Okay, it automatically recognizes the controller. Why they decided to have. A and D control up and down is kind of a weird orientation. Uh, I guess there's, you could change the key bindings probably, but... Restart mission. Okay, well, let's see what happens with the controller, if it's any better. Punch it. Okay. Right trigger activates the engines. Alright, this, so far anyway, makes a little more sense. Right trigger. Okay, it's just like a driving game there. Left stick to anger should be obviously. Ah, uh, steering direction, yeah, okay. Oh, that's a lot better. <laughs> okay, now I can actually steer my ship without crashing into whatever this thing is on. It's not entirely intuitive, but it's a lot better than what I was doing. I'm actually pushing up and he's kind of aiming up. Pushing down and he's aiming down, so it makes a little more sense. Uh, I don't remember being shot at the last time. Right button for afterburners. Uh, I'm holding down the right button. Are my afterburners firing? I can't really tell. Probably since I'm not dying. Well, I made it out alive, so I guess I figured out the afterburners. Okay, that's fine.
actually kind of a neat uh, waypoint system where it actually shows the uh, the direction you're supposed to go relative to your ship in that little circle thing we've got going. It's kind of intuitive because usually you have like a map that you have to keep looking away at. Yeah, not a scratch, I don't think so. If you do have a controller, definitely play this with the controller. Teach me how to shoot sometime soon. Flip the right stick. Okay. Like that. It's my target. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of information there. Uh, energy? Okay. Shields. Holes. Alright, he's not lying. Whether I'm going to be able to remember all that or not is something else. Ah, uh, she was destroyed. Yeah, for okay. Makes sense. Ah, oh, this hero character does like to chat.
an escape capsule, that's kind of neat. That, that weird line thing that happens is kind of weird because the way it stretches the screen out to show it to you, it kind of feels like it's pulling you towards it, but that's not the case because obviously I'm still moving somewhere. Once I get used to this crazy control scheme, I'll be uh, trucking along, making the most of my Steam sale purchase here. Kind of relaxing to go through a field of space debris. Who knew the garbage could be so relaxing? I don't kill myself by the time I reach the my new ship. after a little bit of uh, fun with the real ship. from uh, watching the video feed, but basically the thrusters do almost nothing. Well, alright, maybe you can tell now that I'm next to a bigger object, but... And the control scheme, you know, I seem to be bashing on it, but I think their control scheme is very interesting, so... It's, it's just my getting used to it, that's the problem. So, it's no knock against their control scheme at all. It's actually kind of a unique concept. It's actually treat space like space.
Seriously? <laughs> okay, where am I supposed to be going? I can't even see. Do I have a green dot somewhere? is dropping or rising playing this game. You've got the, the neat space and you've got like the, the relaxing music. But then I have a ship that doesn't want to do what I want it to do. trouble figuring out how much thrust I need to get around to this stuff. Obviously less is more, but... Thank you. 
while I'm gliding to my destination. If my hat uh, is a little see-through right now, there's a good reason for that. Usually I do this stuff during the morning, I'm doing it at night now. Kind of plays tricks with the lighting in my room. The green screen I have the back of me, which is why this, my blue tango mark is probably disappearing on me. It does not mean I have a hole in my head. Well, maybe it means I have a hole in my head. Fortunately, it's not letting me do my right strip. Might fire. Right stick dodge move, so I guess I just kind of have to live with momentum as it is. Come on, get over that box. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Wow. If this was a free to play game, they would definitely be selling faster engines. But in all honesty, you know, they probably do want to just uh, give you this kind of junky ship to start with so that you feel, when your ship does become, you know, upgraded and everything else, it does feel like it's, you know, a badass ship. I 
I'm gonna go down the green line hoping I hit something. That looks like I got one. So now there's just the one turret left, hopefully. Ah, uh, let's see where it's going. Oh, nice range. Oh, most awkward boss fights I've ever been in. Oh, my poor ship. Come on. Come on. Let me get this way. Where is it? Garbage cell has been destroyed. I kind of wish I could see it. Come on. Go on over there. We go. Awesome explosion. I'll play one more mission, just to see if I get my ship upgrade or some kind of upgrade. And I think that'll kind of get you an idea of what Ring Runner is like. Well, I think that's a good stopping point anyway. What does this dead log do? Okay, that's a neat feature. It shows all the damage that was dealt to me by the game. Obviously, most of the damage that's been dealt to me is by things I crash into. Because I'm a horrible, horrible pilot. I will jump back up. 